Hey everyone, here we are this week to give you a quick, simple fix or help improve what we find a lot in gait, uh, either a toe scuff or a foot turned out. Now we see this a lot of people, and a lot of people have usually one side of the body turned, foot turned out, or the toes kind of scuffed on the ground when they're walking, and they tell us that that's, that's, that's how they've always been, or it's always been that way, especially the turnout. Uh, what we're starting to find though is actually there's a reason why the foot's turned out. So what we're gonna do today is give you a quick, simple fix of how to actually make that better. Um, when you see a foot turned out in walking, especially in this cuff, what it happens typically is a muscle called the anterior tibialis shuts off. Uh, there's, a, there's an area in the brain called the PMRF that's in charge of making that whole side work better, work beyond all the time and working. When that's not working as well, that muscle in the front, the anterior tib, actually shuts down. So if you look at it, if you kind of look at my foot, if that muscle is shut down, I'm not going to have, like people usually think my whole leg can be rotated out. It's typically the legs straight, but below the knees when it gets turned out. So you'll see this, this a lot. So you see from my, my thigh is straight ahead, my lower leg is, is turned out. So I have the so way I, when I walk through, I have ground clearance to actually get through if I'm not there. If, I'm, if I'm, the muscle's not firing, I'm gonna scuff my toe and not be able to go through. So I need to have my foot turned out and actually have my, my leg swing through. So it's actually more a lower leg thing than a full hip thing, what people think a lot. So what you need to do is actually turn that muscle back on. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you a drill to actually find that muscle. We actually drill is called find the muscle. We're gonna find the anterior tibialis muscle and turn it on and see if we can get it firing better. So actually, I actually purposely shut mine down for this demo so you can see what happens. So right now if you can see my foot, it's actually turned out a little bit because we just shut it off. <laughs> so we're gonna turn it back on. So how this works is I'm gonna sit on the bench so I have a nice, nice comfortable position. The tibialis muscle attaches right up here on the bottom of the knee. So if you find the big bump on your, on your knee, go just laterally to it and you'll find the top of the muscle. Trace it down the outside part of the shin, along the shin bone, across, and you're going to find it right on the front part of the foot. You point your toe, there's a little bump here, that's where the muscle runs. So we're going to actually work the muscle through its full range of motion. So we're going to start by making my toes and ankle go down away. Okay, and then I'm going to try to pull these two points together as hard as I can by pulling this spot in and up towards this spot on my knee. As I do that, I'm going to feel down the muscle. See if I can, I can feel it contracting. You'll feel for tight muscle in some soft spots. Down the tendon all the way down to the foot. You should feel it firing. Bring it back down. Pull it back up together again. Follow the tendon back up. If I find a soft spot, I'm going to tap it and try to contract right there to get it to turn on. I'm going to go back down through it again and pull back up and work my way along the muscle to make sure I find the spots that actually turn on. So it's a very easy drill. Just kind of find basically just the same simple movement. Toes down and out toes in and up, and feel the muscle firing up in front of the shin. Okay, so now mine's firing much better now, I can feel it turning on. And if I stand up and kind of march without trying to fix it, my foot ends up in a much more straight alignment. So it's a very simple tool to use to turn that muscle back on. It needs to be done a few times a day to keep it going. And it may not fix everything completely, but it also should give some good memory on the way. So feel free to email us if you have questions, give it a try, and let us know. Thanks.